That's awesome. Yo, ass. Like, lots of it. Like, it's all over the place. I love the wards. Oh, damn. She's leaving. Whoa! Your dress! Dude. Ashley. Where do you shop? Dude, where do you shop? We need to talk to Ashley about that. Oh, yeah. Now that we're down here. Not really my kind of place. But there sure are some spectacular views. <laughs> Kaden, you just went up a notch in my book, buddy. What are your thoughts? A lot of traffic here. How fast do you think those cars are going? <laughs> I love the way you think. Do you really think we'll find him down here? He always stops in for a few games of Quasar before he makes his drop. Fist is going to be pissed if we take down his supplier. Mm. That's the point. We want him angry. Angry people make mistakes. There's just something about Fist that makes me nervous. Good. He's a dangerous man. Now keep your eyes peeled for our mark. Okay, someone named Fist, who apparently likes his drugs, is about to lose his drug dealer. The c sec's about to pop him. They didn't mention the drug dealer's name, so it's Fist, really, that we have to worry about. Or at least keep in mind. What have we here? Keeper doing a keeper thing. Walls. You know, as buildings tend to have. You think it's expensive to live here? Um. Yeah. <laughs> I was going to say no, but no, yeah. I do think it's expensive to live here. Never been a real fan of crowds. Yeah, a bit of a homebody, huh? No, I feel that. I feel that. I can relate. How you holding up? Not too bad. No headaches worth mentioning lately. Maybe I'm getting used to the strain. Maybe you've just got a good stress release. I know that knocking the geth on their synthetic asses gets rid of my headaches. alleyway we're just gonna look down here real quick oh why would they light it like this it's almost like this is where they intend drug deals to happen look this freaking cover even built in you can tell that we're gonna fucking have a fight here <laughs> Biggest take cover spot ever. There's really no reason for me to be this alert in here right now, but you know, you don't survive Torfin by being stupid. Too many lights, too much noise. Don't complain. You can keep the Presidium. This is where the action is. Yeah, you can go home, Caden. You and your little baby ass headaches. Pansy. Where did this take me? Oh, there's Kora's Den. We went the back way to get to Kora's Den. There's Fist. Oh, wait. Fist is somebody really notable then. Okay. He's not just some gangbanger or something like that. Lower markets? We don't even have money yet. We're broke. Whoa, this place is cool looking. I would hate to hang out here in real life. It feels grungy. I don't like grunge. But, uh... Oh, look. There's our Krogan. I mean... They've all got to be the same, right? Nope. It's not our dude. Morlin. Hello there, Star Wars toy. Hello there. Welcome to Morland's famous shop. You want many good supplies, yes? Uh, I wanted to see what you have, at least. Let me see what you have. Oh, you will be pleased, I think. Very good things I have. You will see. Let's see these standard items of yours. Holy shnikey, 6200, but there's probably a license. Yeah. Elanis 
risk control license. Alana's risk control license. Okay. I'm not even sure what that's about, but that's only 100 marks. Marks? <laughs> Barrel trauma. Oh, okay, well, thanks for that. I guess that means we can buy your lineup basically anywhere. Anywhere that our ship is, that is. All right. Yeah, this, this place seems super sus. But it's all right. This is just where the Citadel's criminal element hangs out. When you run a settlement of any kind, you accept that some illegal activity, at least at least some, is inevitable in any civilization uh, in, in any civilized area. So you you hope to just keep it confined to places like this. Is that really? Wow! It's you. Yeah, it's me. Seen me on YouTube. You're Commander Shepard. The hero of Eden Prime. I am so honored to meet you. Sounds sarcastic. Nice to meet you. And you are? My name is Conrad. Conrad Werner. They say you killed more than a hundred geth on Eden Prime. <laughs> yeah, well, you know, I just do what I do. I spend most of the time trying to stay alive and help the colonists. Hey, I know you're probably busy, but um, do you have time for a quick autograph? Uh, sure. I mean, I'm not really comfortable with that, if I'm being honest with you. I don't want to sign an autograph in this place. Nah. I don't have time for this, Conrad. I'm not here to be a role model. Oh, I see how it is. Commander Shepard doesn't have time for the little people. Damn straight. Far be it for me to get in your way. You go be a hero. Look, never meet your heroes, kid. I ain't what you think I am. And I don't care that you're disappointed by that. Volas, volas. Look, it's gonna take... <sighs> Look, I know it was you. I remember your face. Really, that's impressive. Usually you humans can't tell one Turian from another. This was the place! Now, are you gonna give me a refund or not? Do you have your proof of purchase? What? No, no, I, I, I don't think you ever gave me one. I'm sorry, kid. I can't help you. But, what would you... Can't help you. <laughs> all right, I'm never gonna change my mind on the Volas if I don't give them a chance, right? So, all right. Best place on this ward to buy upgrades. Oh. Hello, Earth Clan. No doubt you've just come back from the colonies. Will you be needing supplies? Show me what you've got. Most excellent. I am sure you will find something pleasing. Probably a license? I did find something pleasing. Thanks. All right, they're really not bad. I just don't, I don't have a reason to dislike them, so I'm happy to come to terms with that. Got a bit of cognitive dissonance going on over here. I am willing to trust my initial instinct, but uh, you know, I'm not gonna be rigid about it. Where the hell do we end up? What is this place? Whoa! Ashley, check this out. Look away, Caden. You might get a headache. A lot of traffic here. How fast do you think those cars are going? Mm, by the looks of it, I don't know. I'm gonna say 35 miles per hour. I don't know what that is for all of you who aren't in the U.S. Something like 700 kilometers an hour, or some shit. How did you see me coming? Oh. Well, uh... Maybe in a different way you can see me coming. <laughs> I'm Emily Wong. I'm an investigative journalist working here on the Citadel. Could I have a moment of your time? What do you want? What do you need? I've been hunting for evidence of corruption and organized crime on the Citadel, but there are places I can't go. You and me both! I was hoping you might share anything you find during your own investigation. I can make it worth your time. How do you know I'm on an investigation? You've got to have access to better sources. Why contact me? 
I'm using every source I can find, but I think I've got a better shot with you. I read about the Siege of Torfin, sending your men to their deaths, shooting slavers as they tried to surrender. I need someone who isn't afraid to get their hands dirty. Someone who'll do what needs to be done. That's you. Hmm. I like the way you talk about me. Maybe. No promises. But if I find anything relating to your case, I'll inform you. Thank you, Commander. You won't regret it. I might. Vanishing act. Damn, that dress over there, too. All right, we got to get Ashley in some of this stuff. Looking pretty good. Not really my kind of place, but there sure are some spectacular views here. I agree, man. This place looks amazing. Plus, there's aliens. Have you ever seen aliens? It's nuts. To Seasec Academy. That's where I happen to be headed. Good. And... Oh, it's actually down the escalator. Or, I guess... Stairs. Looks like an escalator. I got... This place kind of gives me shopping mall vibes in some places. Zoom. Med Clinic. Let me get a look at the uh, map here. There we are. Okay, makes sense. Trying to get my bearings and figure out how this whole place is laid out. The view of Nebula. Oh, look. This is a better place to be, Ashley. Let's check it out here. Damn. Damn, this frick. Oh, <laughs> I thought it was going to be an interaction. It's just a codex thing, but damn, this place is freaking cool. Is, are those cherry trees? Peeper Med Clinic. Let's see what's in here. Dr. Chloe Mickle. Aid station. Replenish Metagel. Why is one of those on the Citadel? How much Metagel do I have? Five? I think I can hold six. Metagel plus one, yeah. Hot. Hello there, Commander. I'm Dr. Clo Michel. Is there something I can do for you? Not really. But, oh, actually, you sell stuff. I thought so. Let me take a look at what you have for sale. Of course. License, license, license. No license. Medical ex. My god! So is this... Oh, first aid interface one. Microprocessors wired into a combat suit can monitor vital functions and release small localized doses of metagel to accelerate the healing process, plus one health regeneration per second. Why not? I am a tank. That's what I'm building toward anyway. What? Oh, that's my gun. Hardened weave. Plus 10% hardening. Um, you know what? I kind of want to keep the hardening on me. And we'll give the healing per second to her. Since she's also kind of a tank. Works for me. Actually, what do you got equipped? Caden, do we have anything for you here? I didn't think so. Nope. Yes, Commander. Is there something I can do for you? Mm, you have a nice accent. You're a doctor. How did you end up here on the Citadel? My parents brought me here when I was young. My father was a medic with the Alliance. I chose to keep the medical tradition alive, but not the military. Fixing up wounded soldiers isn't my idea of fun. You're a doctor. <laughs> okay. My, my, I chose to keep the medical tradition right. alive, but not the military. I'll be going now. <laughs> Shut up. Bye, Commander. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Nice talking to you. Sure, I bet it was. Anyway. And what's way back here? A door with no panel to open, so we're good. Okay, so that's the end of this area. Well then. 
to CSEC Academy. Nah, no, play it cool. Don't run, don't run, don't run. Play it cool, play it cool. Kind of just hustle. Hey, I know you. You're Shepard, right? Everyone knows Torfin me. Torfin was a case study during my training. I can't believe you took out the whole base. Amazing. Looks like you have a fan. I'm sorry. I just never thought I'd meet someone like you in person. Uh, my name's Lang. Officer Eddie Lang, Citadel Security. It's an honor to meet you, Commander. What are you doing down here in the wards? Anything I can help you with? Ah. You actually can help me with a few things. Do you know a CSEC officer named Harkin? I shouldn't really say too much. He's been on the force a lot longer than me. But I've heard things, you know? Drinking on the job, taking bribes, that kind of thing. Rumors mostly, but they suspended him, so some of it must be true. I see. So he does, yeah, I mean, the captain has a reason to be suspicious of him. Why'd you join Citadel Security? I don't know. Seemed like the right thing to do, you know? Maybe it's in my blood. My grandfather was a cop back on Earth. It's kind of what CSEC is. Police for the Citadel. I'm still pretty new at it, but I like it so far. Way more interesting than staying back on Earth. You get to meet all kinds of cool aliens. Like those Hanar. Wild. Plus, CSEC gets a lot of respect here. We uphold the law. People, even aliens, appreciate that. Oh, you sweet summer child. You really think that this is all... Sunshine and rainbows. You're new at this. You haven't seen what it's like out there. You even praise me for, as you put it, taking out the whole base over on Torfin. You know that came with a cost, right? I wasn't the only one responsible for that. I was the sole survivor of that attack, actually. Meaning there were people who didn't survive. Are you a Commander Shepard? No. You're not a Commander Shepard, which means if you were at Torfin, guess which boat you'd be in, right? So be careful. I have to go. Right. You're probably real busy. Well, see you around, Commander. Yeah, yeah. Man, I wish I could keep that guy on the straight and narrow, but he's a little naive. He can't help it. What? Why is there such a long hallway to the Academy? That looks like a cool hat. Nice pathing there, Ash. Come on. Come on, both of you get in here. Form up. On my way. Nice path pathing there, Caden. Oh, I gotta hit this. A Solarian excavation team has run into an unexpected problem after unearthing a Prothean dig site. Hanar protesters have blockaded the dig site, claiming that artifacts of the Enkindlers, as the Hanar call them, should not be disturbed. Lol. The excavation team has appealed to Hanar representatives on the Citadel to reach a diplomatic solution. Play it cool, play it cool. That, that's Garrus, basically. Looks exactly like him. They're right. I can't tell any Turian apart from the rest. All the same! Look, it's Rex! Witnesses saw you making threats in Fist's bar. Stay away from him. I don't take orders from you. This is your only warning, Rex. You should warn Fist. I will kill him. You want me to arrest you? I want you to try. Go on. Get out of here. Yes, human. I'm trying to bring down Saren. Barlavon said to talk to you. Barlavon is a wise man. We may share a common goal, human. Ah, so you know Barlavon. Enlighten me. I've been hired to kill the owner of Korra's den. Nice. A man named Fist. Ah. He did something very foolish. What did he do? He betrayed the Shadow Broker. 
A Quarian showed up here on the Citadel. She was on the run. She wanted to trade information for a safe place to hide, so she went to Fist. He promised to arrange a meeting between her and the Shadow Broker. Instead, he contacted Saren. What does Saren have to do with this? Well, the Corian has something that connects Saren to the Geth. He baked Fist a small fortune for her. If we get our hands on that evidence, we can prove that Saren's a traitor. And the Council will have to listen to us. Ah, I see, I see. What's a Quarian? <laughs> Am I wrong about some of my uh, identifications of some of these aliens? Where's the Quarian now? Last I heard, Fist still had her. Probably somewhere inside his club. You help me kill Fist, she's all yours. I want to know more about your employer. Can't tell you much. All I got was a coded message with the details of the job. Standard procedure. Uh, what about Garrus, that Turian? He wants to take Saren down too. We could use him. I've been trying to find that fricker. He might come in handy. He was here just before you showed up. Of course. Said he was going to follow up a lead on his investigation. Wanted to speak to the doctor at the med clinic. Are we really doing this? Move out. Ah, my squad is changing. Erdnot Rex, that's a name. Kaden Alenko, Ashley Williams. We've got plenty of brute force on the team. Could probably swap Ashley out. We're not taking the girl out of the playthrough. That would just be silly. Um, kind of like Caden. Caden's cool. Hanging out with Caden's fun. He adds a, a splash of interest to the story, but... Oh, biotic strength, tech strength, combat strength. I mean, our party is much more well-rounded with Caden here. The extra healing, the extra utility, the crowd control. But if we're not considering just combat, let's go ahead and bring Rex. Because he can also provide cool... Let's just find out what his personality is like. Examine squad? Okay, this is the exact same info they're giving me here. Oh, the oh the current squad. Okay, yeah, we have no tech strength. But Erdnot has some biotic strength here, too. Well, all right, then. Every time I visit the Citadel, c -Sec brings me here for a friendly chat. I can see why. You walk around wanting to kill basically everybody with a chip on your shoulder. What are you wearing, Erdnot? It's a heck of a name you got there. Mercenary One, what is this exactly? I wish I could see if it's like heavy armor or what it is. How do I check that? Whatever. Fist, a crime lord hiding out at a bar called Cora's Den in the Lower Wards, is meeting with a Quarian who has proof Saren is working with the Geth. Yeah, that's pretty interesting. Um, we could also go check out Gareth. But... I mean, yeah, we can also go check out Gareth. But... I mean, we're this close. We're already... here. What's a Quarian look like? Okay, we got us an elevator that goes to a docking bay. Requisition office? Ooh. Which way are we looking again? Where am I? I'm looking the right direction. To the requisition office. Let's go see what we can acquire there. Let's keep things moving along. Hey, what you got for me? Got a license? One sec. Looking you up. Commander Shepard, here with the Alliance Military. First time on the Citadel, that about right? You got it. How did you know all that? I'm the CSEC Requisitions Officer. I need to make sure our buyers are authorized. So, will you be purchasing anything today, Commander Shepard? Yes. Show me what you've got. Excellent. I hope you find what you're looking for. I like this one. Aha. Another license. I did find what I was looking for. Um, I don't think you'd have any information that could help me, so let's just keep going. Cool. Glad I decided to come check this place out first. 
What else we got? Ooh. Oh, this is where we entered from. Of course. Okay, so this place is pretty small. Okay, Julie. Let me get this straight. Your business partner, Shorman, he's threatened you? Well, no, uh, not exactly. But he wants to meet with me. I think he's going to kill me. And why do you think that? I... I can't really get into the details. But Shorbin will kill me if I leave here unprotected. I can't help you. Not unless you give me something more to go on. I... I can't. I'm sorry. Man. And I've got other work to do. But I... But nothing. Don't bother me unless you're willing to give me details. I mean, the CSAC officer is right. You're coming here with this fear that you're going to be killed, but you can't tell him why. He can't follow up on that. He can't take action on that. That's not actionable. You have to give him something. Hey there. Oh, you're not CSEC, are you? Did you want something? Who is Chorbin? What were you trying to explain to the officer before? My colleague is trying to kill me, and I thought we were friends. It's pretty serious. How do you know he wants you dead? He's changed. He won't talk to me at work anymore, and he started following me. Yesterday, he followed me all the way home, just waiting for a chance. I don't care what anyone thinks. He wants me gone. I know it. How come you couldn't just tell the CSAC officer that? Is there something I can do? Talk to your friend, maybe? Would you? That's all I want. Someone to talk to him. Tell him to leave me alone. He thinks he can just push me around, but you'll show him, won't you? Nah, man. I'll see what I can do. I don't even know what your whole side of the story is. Just tell me where he is and I'll go find him. Oh, right. Well, he wanted to meet with me down in the wards near the markets. He said he just wanted to talk, but I know better. His name's Shorbin. He's a Salarian. You shouldn't have any trouble. He's just a scientist. Well, good luck. Why wouldn't you have trouble? I mean, why would you have trouble if he's just a scientist? Oh, there you are. Have you spoken with Shorbin yet? No, but... Yeah, whatever. I haven't gone there yet. Of course. I'm sure you will deal with it appropriately. Yeah, I'm sure I will. Why couldn't you give CSEC any of that information? That's my thing. Okay. Um, traffic control. To the Presidium, to the docking bay. We haven't been to the docking bay yet. Let's go look at that at least. Oops, I'm trying to do this. Whoa, this place is tall. I thought it was small. It is small, but it's also tall. Binary Helix has settled out of court with a Krogan group that had accused the Genetics Corporation of fraud. The Krogan group had contracted Binary Helix to perform studies with a long-range goal of curing their genetic sterilization. The group later sued for a return of investment money when the study produced no viable results. Lol. Yeah. One thing I remember is you guys have like eight balls, right? That's pretty cool. Whoa! Man. Oops. Keep doing that wrong. We could just get right back on the ship. So are we the only ship docked here? Sounds like something's coming in. Maybe not. Oh, I see. Oh, we, okay, it's a multi-level docking ring or docking bay. There's just no other ships docked here right now, but those uh, are the platforms that extend just like this one did to connect to the Normandy. All right, I understand how this place works now. Interesting. Cool. Can we actually get back aboard the ship? 
at this stage. Oh, it looks like we can. Huh, nice. Sorry, Commander. Nobody's allowed on the Normandy right now. Doing some routine maintenance. That's sus. Sorry, Commander. Nobody's allowed on the Normandy right now. Doing some routine maintenance. It does make sense, though. I'm pretty sure, yeah, she said it's routine. It's not really sus. I'm pretty sure this happens every time we dock, so I'm not worried about it. I mean, even the captains aboard the Citadel. It's about normal for a human soldier's tour of duty, Williams? Uh, trying to take down a rogue specter and his army of synthetics? No, they didn't cover this in basic. You'll find you do a lot of shit as a human in the military. Ever hear about Torfin? Alright. It's time to get us to... I'm very interested in this Torbin fellow. Somewhere in the wards, the markets, they said. Yeah. Cool. Alright. I understand how this whole Citadel place works. Now, we're looking for... He said it was a Salarian. No. A Quarian? No. He said it was a Salarian. Named Chorban. Around the markets. Hmm... Salarians and a dude. How much you want to bet it's in that dark alley? <laughs> 